in a standard, even all the big kill mechanism, you can see this little knobs in one under one of the centerpieces in the center. Uh, what did I just say? Centerpieces in the center. The centermost centerpieces, which is relevant on say a six by six. This is a T Uhua V1. So you can see here the nut is under this corner and there's nothing underneath the other corners. And on every face there's uh, on every face of the core one of the four corners will have a nut on it. And what we want is what these knobs do is that they lock the half of the they lock one half of the puzzle to one side when you're turning half of it. So for example, here we have a knob uh, here on this side of the white face. We have a knob here on this side of the orange face, and we have a knob here on this side of the yellow face, and a knob uh, here this side on the red face. So this causes the core to be locked to the left side of the puzzle when we do a right turn. So for example, we see here, the core doesn't move. You can see the screw is stationary as I turn the right side of the puzzle. And this applies to all three axes. So for this to happen, the, knot, the nubs have to be pointing all to the same direction. So here on this axis, on the left right axis, the nubs are all on the left side. If we rotate the puzzle, now you see here the nut on the white face is on the left side the one on the green face is also on the left side the one on the yellow face will also be on the left side the one on the blue face will also be on the left side so now again as we turn the right side the core will be locked to the left side what this means concretely is that if you disassemble the whole puzzle and you just look at the core then you can see that the Nubs will all be pointing towards the same direction. Will all be pointing towards the same corner. For example, here we have these three nubs pointing towards this corner. This nub is also pointing towards the same direction as that corner. This nub is also pointing towards this same corner. And the one at the back is also pointing towards the same corner. So when this happens, then no matter which axis you look at, the nubs will all be on the same side. If this is not the case, then what you need to do is to unscrew one of these, unscrew the offending center stalks and rotate them so that the nubs are pointing in the correct location, and then screw them back in. This usually should not happen on modern designs because as you can see the center stalks are actually uh, asymmetrical. So for the, there's a tiny groove here and there's no other groove elsewhere on the center stalk. So by right, this can only be screwed in in one way. But if for some reason you have a center stock that's screwed in in a different direction, then likely the center stock itself is damaged and you need to get a replacement piece and then screw it back properly.